So you've collected your resources for your paper and now it's time to start writing. You've been instructed to use APA to cite your sources, but what does that even mean? APA style from the American Psychological Association is a set of guidelines used to present writing and sources in a consistent way. Part of writing a scholarly paper is incorporating and building upon the ideas of other scholars. When you use the information and perspectives found in other sources, citations give credit to the ideas of others and make you a more credible author. Citations are two pieces, an in-text citation and a reference list. An in-text citation is a short citation within the body of your paper that refers a reader to the full reference at the end of your paper. Your in-text and reference list citation should match. Anytime you quote or paraphrase someone else's words or ideas within the body of your paper, you must give credit to the original author. APA style in-text citations do not use footnotes. It follows the author date method. When quoting an author's exact words, place quotation marks around the text, then include your in-text citation. Begin with the author's last name, comma, the date of publication, comma, and the page number that the information was found on, preceded by the letter P with a period. Surround with parentheses and follow by a period. If you summarize an author's idea using your own words, this is a paraphrase. You don't use quotation marks, but you still need an in-text citation. Following your paraphrase, include the author's last name, comma, and the date of publication in parentheses, followed by a period. Remember to place your period after your in-text citation. You don't need to include page numbers. You can also mention the author's last name in a sentence followed by the date of publication in parentheses. If quoting directly, you will place the page number in parentheses at the end of your sentence, followed by a period to complete the in-text citation. You do not need to repeat the author's name or date. If your source does not include page numbers, indicate the paragraph where you found the information by using the abbreviation para followed by a period, surrounded by parentheses and followed by a period. Your reference list will start on its own page at the end of your paper and will contain the full citation information for your sources. Remember, all of the in-text resources must also appear in your reference list. Put your sources in alphabetical order and remember to double space and indent after the first line. Reference list citations vary based on the type of source you're citing, but they include the author, the date of publication, the title of the work, and the publication information, which is either the publisher or the URL. The best way to learn is to use a good style guide. Pick one you like and stick with it, just to be consistent. Whichever guide you choose, it must be for the 7th edition. Purdue OWL has an online style guide that is easy to use, comprehensive, and easy to access. APA has a blog where they answer citation-related questions. If you have citation questions, library staff are more than happy to help you. Please ask us. Mm -hmm.